there truly is nowhere to go but up for Barangay Ginebra as they stay on top of the leaderboard in PBA Governors Cup. But what can we expect in the following games of the Gin Kings? Lynn Olavario tells us more. All around, hoping to find an open look from the outside. The next man of mantra continues to work for the depleted Barangay Ginebra. The team rolled to its fourth straight victory last night at the expense of Miraco 111-105 in a rematch of the last two Governors' Cup finals. The defending champions are now atop the team standings with a 7-1 record. Like a Spotify song on repeat, Justin Bradley once again led the Gin Kings with 31 points, 7 rebounds, 6 assists, and 3 blocks. While Japheth Aguilar, who returned from an injury layoff, also finished with 31 markers along with 7 boards. But aside from the key players, the Shock Troopers also continue to play pivotal roles with 6 of their teammates still nursing injuries, including Greg Slaughter, Saul Mercado, and Joe DeVance. We're just stepping up for each other, and uh, that's what a team's all about. It's not about one guy coming out and doing it every night. It's about somebody else stepping up every night, and somebody else is doing it. Seldom used Prince Capera made the most of almost 19 minutes of action, tallying 8 points and 6 rebounds. Ako naman, practice lang araw-araw. Kaya pag may pagkakataon, pag nabunot ni coach, perform lang ako. So hindi ka mainisip masyado yung playing time. Aljon Mariano, meanwhile, who has thrived as a starter, credited the team system as the reason for their success. Ayun, nade-develop yung character ng team kasi kahit kulang-kulang, ang dami nag-step up. Ayun, talagang yung system talaga namin yung nag-hold. And Barangay Ginebra will get even stronger as the playoffs approach as some of the sideline guys will play against Trainer Shine this Saturday. We're hoping Sol and, and, and Greg will join us uh, tomorrow in practice and uh, um, you know maybe uh, after our Lucena game, uh, Joe might be available. So you know coming into the last two or three games of the conference, we might start getting guys back. For News 5, Lynn Olivario, we are one news. Thank you.